All right, what's going on, guys? It is Super here, and I'm bringing you guys a little Mortal Kombat X video. Today, we're going to be talking about some character changes, some patch changes from the combat cast that happened uh, a day ago. Wait, it was a Friday? Yeah, today's Saturday. Okay, it happened yesterday. I'm sorry. I lost track of time. I'm too excited for Combat Pack 2. I'm just, Monday's the only day that matters, right? That's the only day that matters. But if you guys missed the combat cast, I'm going to go over a couple of things in the video today, uh, talking about some character changes, more specifically the Combat Pack 1 characters, because, uh, you know, a lot of things that were changed in the beta for characters like we're given nerfs and buffs a lot of that pretty much stayed except for a couple of things which i'll probably go over in this video as well um but we didn't know anything about the combat back one character so now that we do um you know i'm gonna talk to you guys about it give you guys my opinion so let's get started here first with some general gameplay changes so one huge thing that i really liked in the enhanced beta is that command grabs connected on hit now i think it helped out aaron black a lot because they did uh you know nerf the ex sand grenade um and they actually modified that a little bit uh so the way it's going to work now is the Command grab on hit is only going to connect if it's an EX command grab, excluding a few command grabs in the game. I believe they said uh, Kung Lao's, uh, you know, teleport command grab uh, and a few others are going to be, you know, able to connect on hit no matter what. But for the most part, the majority of command grabs are only going to be able to connect on hit if they're EX. So, man, I that that hurts, man. That hurts because I got used to you know doing the command grab on hit it's gonna suck I, I you know we're gonna have to wait and see to test out if uh, Aaron Black's command grab is gonna be one of the command grabs that works on hit no matter what because the 2-1 uh, command grab a lot of times people if they get hit by it and I do the command grab and it doesn't connect they're gonna be able to full combo punish me because the recovery really sucks on that move um, so we're gonna have to wait and see if you know Aaron Black's command grab is one of them uh, it might not be because they actually mentioned that Aaron Black's command grab is going to be more plus on hit now. So that's definitely good, though. I, I really appreciate that. So I'll go into the Aaron Black stuff a little bit later. Uh, let's see. Breakers take all stamina. That was tested out in the beta, and that's going to stay, which is awesome. Because when you break before, you you would lose all your stamina, and your opponent had full stamina. So he could run in and pressure you anyways for free. So that's definitely good that both players lose stamina. Uh, after someone breaks now uh neutral jump punches are going to be more negative on block when you're going up like for example i'm using quan chi it's a five frame neutral jump punch if i do a neutral jump punch immediately and the opponent blocks it he's actually going to be able to full combo punish me on the way down because the recovery frames are going to be a lot more uh if you do an immediate neutral jump punch and it's blocked of course if you do it on the way down it's still going to be, you know, plus it's still going to be neutral, whatever it is. So, you know, that's definitely a good thing to know for, you know, guys who do the instant neutral jump punches like I do a Quan Chi sometimes. Moving on here, uh, something that they gave to a lot of characters uh, that did not have any fast pokes. For example, if a character didn't have like a seven frame or faster down poke, they actually gave that character a seven frame or faster down poke, which is really nice, right? So some of the characters like, for example, Aaron Black, you know, I use Aaron Black a lot because I use him. He didn't have a poke that was faster than seven frames, so they actually gave him a seven frame down one. Um, I believe uh, Katana, they gave her a six frame down three, which is really good. You know, so characters that did not have a fast poke now have, you know, a fast poke. So moving on here, let's go into some character specific changes. So let's start off with Jason, just because he's the first one on my notes here. Uh, Slasher Jason got... Uh, changes to the hitbox on some of his uh slasher moves because people were able to duck like the mid for example back one um it's it's a good mid but a lot of people were able to duck it so they changed the hitbox on that for it to hit a lot more consistently on ducking opponents uh even though it is a mid it should hit all ducking opponents uh they made it faster they made a lot of his moves faster which is really nice uh they made his uh, projectile faster um Let's go to Relentless now. They made the 2-1-2, you know, the bread and butter combo that Relentless players use all the time. They made it a lot easier to combo into. So before, what you had to do was 2-1-2, two, two, 
sprint a little bit or run a little bit and then two one two run a little bit one 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 or whatever you wanted to do afterwards um and now it's a lot easier to combo you don't even need to do a run cancel to combo the two one two so you could actually connect it three times and then i i still think you could go for like a one one choke afterwards which is really nice it actually opens up a lot more damage potential and opportunities for relentless jason which i'm really happy about um the ex bear hug the command grab you could actually switch which size or pick a side in which you want to throw your opponent so that's definitely nice because uh you know jason always threw the opponent to the other side in which his command grab hit so now you could actually choose but it only works on the ex hug uh next up here forward four four the low starter it actually is uh you know you, you your opponent's not gonna go flying back anymore so you're actually gonna be able to do a special move afterwards uh so before the forward four it was a low to mid it's like the two kicks like scissor kicks and the opponent will go flying and now the opponent is very very close to you so that's definitely nice because you could get um you know uh forward four four into a choke and that's like 17 percent. so that's definitely good they actually changed the enhancement of how much damage jason does over time uh because before it was really low it started at 40 percent. i think he got the first damage increase and then you know i went down to 30 20 10 and then five percent he would get a huge boost so they're gonna up all those um you know a lot sooner so that's good let's move on now to a character that everyone wanted to see what they were gonna do which is tanya so her ex reka has no more armor on startup or it just doesn't have armor at all so you guys know that the ex reco was like the safe wake up option for tanya's and you could actually do the enhanced ex reco at the end of your strength to you know give you plus frames or make it safe and now it doesn't have armor anymore so you know that they just can't wake up with that anymore um ex tomfa is neutral that means uh when she throws the ex tomfa and you're stuck there in place and it comes back now you're neutral so you're both at like the same advantage you're not going to be uh you know uh tanya players aren't going to be really plus anymore uh the back one is one frame slower back one is the you know the the Rekka combo starter that a lot of people use it's one frame slower and pyromancer the fireball recovery is a lot faster so that one actually makes me really happy because pyromancer is my favorite variation to use so i'm definitely really excited to try that out moving on here to predator and predator did not really get adjusted too much um let's see in hishku 10 actually let me just mention hunter he literally got no change hunter's still the same which kind of sucks i wanted hunter to be maybe modified a little bit but moving on to hishku 10 lasers are do less damage so i think they went down to six percent down from you know seven percent i think they did before um his laser cancels are less plus on block so you can't just keep mixing your opponent up and uh you know now he doesn't have to take it so the big change to warrior which a lot of people wanted some buffs on warrior because warrior warrior was pretty much useless um you know the self detonate takes way too long to start up i think it's like 250 frames something like that which is crazy they said that is significantly sped up uh so we're gonna have to see how fast it is because if it's like one second that would be definitely cool i don't think they're gonna make it that fast uh because it is a strong tool you know i think it's plus on block as well so who knows how what they're gonna do with that um the warrior slap is a lot faster now so he's actually gonna have a wake up which is really good and the slap is actually um safe on block which is very very good um we're gonna have to see how fast the slap is because if it is fast enough he might actually be able to do block pressure with the slap um you know when i did my warrior predator you guys saw me and my combos in the slap and because it is really slow people could armor through it but you know a lot of people don't know that because no one plays with warrior predator so if the slap is actually fast enough to be able to you know make it a true block string that'd be really really cool and it would definitely be a huge change to warrior so moving on here to tremor um the the up rocks are a lot slower uh on recovery so they're still gonna go up the same at the same time and they're gonna come down at the same time tremor just recovers a lot you know slower from the animation so you're not gonna be able to spam up rocks anymore um the low shatter on the crystalline variation crystalline whatever you want to call it is minus 10 now i don't know if he was trolling or not because they said minus five first and then you know paulo the the main lead designer said it's minus 10 he's a troll so i don't know if it's actually minus if it's minus 10 that's ridiculous 
that is crazy because it was plus seven something like that um it was like plus 14 before no it was plus seven before then i went down to plus two and now it's either minus five or minus ten one of those two but if it's minus ten and being full combo punishable that's crazy uh so here's a huge change of tremor and a lot of characters with ex ground pounds so they changed the mechanics on the way ground pounds work after combos so they don't want people to not be able to get up and not be able to do anything about getting comboed and then doing an ex ground pound and getting a guaranteed 13 percent in the case of tremor so now the ex stomp actually um scales on par with the combo which is pretty crazy and this works across the board with all ex ground pound characters so what you're going to want to do now, because let me just give you guys an example of how like a tremor combo would work now. Um, so before you would do like a 31% bread and butter combo and then you would do EX ground pound for an added 13% unbreakable damage. They literally couldn't do anything about it. So, you know, that would have been a 44% for one bar, right? So this is going to scale now. So if you do the regular 31% bread and butter combo for Tremor and then you do the EX ground pound like you normally would, that ground pound is going to do 4% damage. That's right, guys. So the Tremor players are not going to get guaranteed 14, uh, you know, 13% added to their combos anymore unless they delay it slightly to when they're able to get up. So it's not tech. It wouldn't technically be in a combo. Um, so you could risk that because the enemy could backdash they could jump they could do a move afterwards they could armor through it um but that's the only way that you're going to be able to get the 13 percent you know guaranteed combo it's going to work the same with goro the same with um you know boraicho is going to have uh you know ex ground pound you know all those characters that have that that you were able to get an added you know 12 to 13 percent after a bread and butter combo that is completely removed from the game now the ex ground pound scales properly according to the combo you do so that's gonna be it for the changes guys once like the full uh patch is up i'm gonna make a follow-up video and let you guys know everything in detail so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time